Today's lesson is lesson four, unknown numbers in multiplication and unknown numbers in division. Here we need to find the value of a. With the multiplication problem, to find an unknown, we're going to divide. So we're going to take 72 and divide it by six. Okay. So six goes into seven one time. Six times one is six, subtract. 1, bring down the 2. 6 goes into 12 2 times. It's 12, 0 left over. So my answer is 12. Now I have multiplication. I can do that even if it's written this way. 6 times a equals 72. I will still divide to find the answer. Okay. Here we have 6 times w equals 84. Remember, a number next to a letter means multiply. So we're going to take 84 and divide it by 6. 6 goes into 8 one time. That's 6 times 1 is 6. Subtract. That's 2. Bring down the 4. 6 goes into 24 four times. 6 times 4 is 24. Subtract. 0 left over. And I can check this by multiplying. I can take 14 and times it by 6 and end up with 84. So that's how I know my answer is correct. Now here we have a division problem. Remember that this line here means divide. Okay, just a different way to show it. So I have k divided by 6 equals 15. The k is the dividend. Okay, remember the first number goes inside the division box. Okay. So if I was to write this with the division box, it would look like this. K divided by 6 equals 15. Okay. So when I have an unknown dividend or the number that's inside the box, I'm going to multiply the other two numbers to find it. So here I have 15 times 6. 6 times 5 is 30. Carry my 3. 6 times 1 is 6 plus 3 is 9. So my answer should be 90. I can always check by dividing. 90 divided by 6. 6 goes into 9 one time. That's 6. Subtract. 9 minus 6 is 3. Bring down the 0. 6 goes into 30 five times. So my answer is correct. So remember, when the dividend or the number inside the box is missing, you multiply to find it. In this case, the divisor is missing. Little m is the divisor. If I wrote this with a division box, it would look like this. 126 divided by m equals 7. When the divisor is missing, or the number outside the box, I need to divide to find the answer. I'm going to switch these two numbers. So I'm going to do 126 divided by 7. And that should tell me what m equals. So 7 goes into 12 one time. Seven, 12 minus 7 is 5. Bring down the 6. 7 goes into 56 8 times. That's 56. Alright, so if I wanted to see if this one's correct, I can try doing 18 times 7 and see if I get 126, which I do. Okay. So it's really important to remember when the divisor or second number is missing, the number outside the box, I divide to find the answer. Okay, and that's it for this lesson. Thanks for watching.